Hello, hello, everybody. This is Larry. This is day 25 of the August Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. I have some like allergy stuff. Uh, tree allergies. What am I going to do? All right, today's farm is Peking Iterator. Design an iterator that supports the peak on an existing iterator. What's an iterator? Just. Okay. So that you're, you're given an iterator and you're basically trying to do a layer such that it um, it has a it supports a peak function. That's okay. That's basically. Um, hmm, what, what do you want me to do? Iter iterator that. Oh, I see. This is what this is. Okay. I mean, this seems pretty straightforward. It's just about, you know, pre-caching one answer, I suppose. Um, and that's basically the idea, I, I, I think. So it should be okay. Um, it is kind of a tricky thing to um, conceptualize around, to be honest, because I think Iterator is definitely not necessarily a beginner's um, thing. I mean, it, I guess it's like beginners, but it's not necessarily like, I don't know. Uh, so I think being able to do this, and this is maybe somewhat, it's not specifically language specific, but it is um like understanding of your language will help a lot you know technically this is not how you do iterator in python but you know we'll live uh yeah and then now what do we want to do okay so first we keep track of the iterator but this is all implementation so i'm going to instead so i don't have anything like overarching talking about it i'm just going to go over it as we solve them uh also uh my neck still hurts a little bit so Bear with me as I maybe struggle a little bit in uh, in agony, but oops. Okay, so peak. What we want, so what we want to do is create the next item, right? So maybe something like next item is equal to iterator dot next. Um, mm, I don't know if I, I want to write it this way, but conceptually something like this, right? Let's just say maybe. <clears throat> Ca uh, uh, peak cache is you go to uh, self dot peak maybe something like that I don't know what and the idea here for us is just that that we already have self dot iterator right um, so now we want to do, um, okay, if it has next, then this, we said this is equal to, well, next object is equal to, um, next is equal to self.iterator.next. So now we, we get the next element, and then in the peak cache, we just set it to the next element, um, yeah, I mean, I it. I was gonna do something like an explicit has next flag, but maybe this is fine. And then else self dot peak cache is you go to none because it doesn't have a next right. And then now that's pretty much the idea here. Or I don't know if I like this naming, but maybe move uh, check next uh, peak cache or cache peak maybe. I don't know. Naming is hard, so definitely observe yourself there. Peak okay. Now that we have that ready, peak then is just returning, um, let's see, let's peak. Without moving the pointer, I was just curious what happens if there, there isn't uh, the next element. So, okay, well, it, I guess it just assumes that there's always a next element. Okay, all calls are valid, so okay. So then that means that self.peak cache, and we can just return this, uh, it will just be the next number. Uh, the next then is just... Uh, result is to go to self dot peak cache and then self dot um, you know do the thing where we repopulate it and then return result and then has next is just return self dot peak cache is not none right because if it's not none that means that we have a next element that we can fetch um, you can of course separate this into two explicit variables if you like um here i'm a little bit lazy today maybe uh hopefully this is good uh okay so this is wrong <clears throat> why is this wrong 
Seems like this is mostly right except for the first next. Uh, is next supposed to return? Hmm. Wait. Hmm. Oh, I, I think I just messed up here because I, I think I wanted this to write a different way, so I wrote this thing. But actually, what I need, what I just needed is this. But because this returns none, it actually flushes the first thing to none. Uh, but this is why you test code because, you know, silly things like this happen. And of course, this is in type safe because this is Python, so it was harder to spot than maybe normally. But yeah, as you can see, this is good. Um, yeah, I man, is that good? I guess technically we didn't test the thing where we have has next return true, but I feel like this is mostly what I want. So let's test that really quick and let's give it some in. Apparently I did it about a year ago. Hopefully this is right. Yes, 755 everybody. Uh, cool. Uh, just to go over the thing, I mean, I don't think there's that much to go over. Um, this is go everything is all of one. This is all of one because it's just return variable. This is technically all of one in the sense that everything else other than the the this function is all of one. This function, technically speaking, you don't know the cost of getting the next object in the iterator. It may take a while. There may be some amortized cost, but the extra cost will be all of one. So this is you know the same uh, as the iterator itself. Um, so yeah. And as next is obviously all of one, so yeah. So everything is all of one, maybe some amortization with respect to whatever the original iterator is. You can think of, for example, if, the, if this was like next permutation or something like that. Um, I mean, I, I guess this is always int, but, but if you have an iterator that returns all the permutations, for example, it, it might have an all of n, where n is the, the size of the collection in terms of the running time in the worst case, but amortize all of one or something like that, right? But even then, that's just depends on the iterator. So this is not your responsibility per se. So so this is going to be close enough. Everything outside of the the original function cost is all of one. So yeah, so I'm super happy about this. Uh, that's all I have for today, though. Uh, let me know what you think. I'm going to lie down and just rest my neck. Uh, old people farm. So take care of your posture. I need to uh, do something about it. Anyway, stay good. Stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.